I try to avoid talking about my disabilities too much on here. Gaming, and especially Minecraft, is an escape for me, so why would I bring that downer with me? And yet, the way I play the game is fundamentally affected by my physical reality. I've realized that the way I play Minecraft is incredibly reflective of how I want to be able to live. A virtual sandbox world means I can leave behind the limits of how my body functions, or doesn't, at least to an extent. I can walk, run, jump, <laughs> I can even dance. I've always been an incredibly active person, a dancer, a runner, a skater. It used to be that my creative outlets were things like playing piano, knitting, photography. And in Minecraft, I can do similar things without having to lift my arms, which in real life limits me to a few minutes of those activities at best. This outdoorsy farm kid can take care of chickens and goats again, can go hiking, can garden. When I was 12, I put every nail in the house my parents live in, and now I can build huge projects like that again. The tech and engineering side of my brain gets to take similar concepts in at my own pace every time I do a redstone project. Editing videos and running a YouTube channel helps me refresh skills in my field. But watching my videos back has been incredibly discouraging lately because I've been keenly aware of all the limitations my body puts me under in this space still. Disjointed sentences, thoughts that end without conclusion, glaring details that I completely miss for no other reason than that I can never fully engage in anything through the thick fog I wade through every day just to exist. And these are issues that don't just affect my playing Minecraft and making silly little videos about it, but also prevent me from living life, having an income, having friends. In a shocking turn of events, when your primary personality becomes too exhausted to engage, or alternatively, can't perform basic life tasks without help, it gets hard to connect to people. We could get into how I edit on an old laptop that can barely support video editing software anymore because it allows me to lay down while editing, so my playback is choppy and the screen flashes black constantly. We could talk about how to play on a machine that gives me halfway decent performance. I have to thump myself across a desk until my joints dislocate and my nerves feel like they're on fire. And that doesn't take long, so I push myself into play sessions that are far longer than is sustainable for me. But I guess the point is that even something as low-key as playing a video game that opens up a pretense of normalcy is in and of itself almost more than I can do. I don't intend this as a complaint video to say woe is me or to get attention. I'm just at a point where I need the catharsis of getting this off my chest, and if someone connects with it and feels less alone because of it, all the better. As happens from time to time in life, I've had an IRL opportunity present itself that I'm so excited to pursue. But while it would far more than double my tiny income, it would also take more than double the effort that it takes for me to exist, and I'm already pushing the limit on that. I hate that the barrier to my success in life isn't my own incompetence or subpar willpower or even lack of skill most of the time. It's simply that I can't brute force my body, and often, by extension, my brain, into doing what I need it to. If I can't even hold up my head, how am I supposed to string a sentence together for a video, much less give clear, concise instruction in a work setting? It's terrifying and discouraging to watch myself hesitate to even try because my body has already failed me so spectacularly at times when it worked way better than it does now. I've spent a lot of my life pulling myself out of really bad situations into better ones, but there are circumstances you can't willpower your way out of, and while so many people experience that in some way, it's one of the loneliest feelings in the world to navigate. There's not really a point here beyond this. To anyone who can relate, I'm so sorry you have to go through situations like this. You're so not alone. I see you and I know how hard it is. You're amazing, and you shouldn't have had to be placed in these circumstances. Be gentle to yourself and to others. Reject the idea that productivity is what gives you worth. Instead, find the things that give you meaning and hope, and hold them so very close in whatever way you can. That is, after all, what makes us human.